So y'all, I finished my Brazilian. I don't recommend it. I wouldn't do it again. Woo! Jesus. That's my only complaint about these so far. Why are they green? I don't like that. Make like something wrong with me. What? Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. As y'all just seen, I just prepped my wig. I washed it. I thought I was gonna have to bleach the knots, but I forgot that this wig came pre-bleached. And I think it's pre-plucked as well, but I did pluck it a little bit more. I didn't show that on camera. So she's over there drying. If you hear any background noise, that's the fan. I have it sitting in front of my fan so it can dry while I'm doing everything else. But as y'all can see by the title, this is a maintenance vlog. Listen, if you watched my last video, my first video since I came back onto YouTube, you kind of have a little background of why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling. But just to sum it all up, I just haven't been feeling that cute. And also if you go to that video, then you'll see why my hair is shorter than it's been being. For those of you who have seen my hair before and is wondering like, girl, your hair's shorter. Yeah, um, all of that is in that video. I just haven't been feeling all that cute. And that ends today, girl. I can't do it no more, not doing it no more. We're gonna do a wig and start. We're gonna do like a full on like maintenance, okay? I've done a maintenance video before. Y'all know I'm a DIY girly. So I do a lot of things myself, save a lot of coin there. I'm not no expert in none of this stuff. It's just what I do and what works for me. So I'm not claiming to be no expert in none of this stuff. No esthetician, no nail tech, no none of that. So I'm gonna be pretty much doing everything myself. I'm gonna be doing my wig and I'm not really sure what style I'm gonna do yet, but I'll figure that out. Next, we're gonna move on to pedicure. I was gonna do my wax next, like wax my legs, but I realized that I'm out of my wax cartridges. I'm gonna show y'all. I use this roll on wax thing I got off of Amazon like a year ago, but I just realized that I'm out of cartridges for the wax cartridges so now i have to use like actual wax like you gotta melt and apply with the um popsicle stick and all that yeah i had my mom pick up a wax warmer and some wax for me to do that small purpose wax so you can use it all over your body so i'm gonna be waxing my legs i don't think i need to wax under my arms and i need a brazilian and i just might attempt to do that myself with the wax that my mom is buying the new wax because like i said i've only been using the wax roller before and i've never done my own brazilian i've waxed my own legs for almost a year now for to me waxing legs hurt more than brazilians i don't know if that's just me that can't just be me but me waxing my legs hurts more than me getting the brazilian but i think i'm gonna attempt to do my brazilian wax my full wax root of the tutor so i'm a little nervous about that <laughs> it's okay we're, we're gonna tough it out y'all know i get to that so yeah we'll see how that goes yeah but i have to wait for my mom to get home with the wax which is why i'm not doing that yet so i'm just kind of moving on to everything else in the meantime so i'm not just sitting around wasting time i went ahead and washed my wig first so that can be drying while i do everything else so like i said next i'm gonna move on to pedicure i do my own pedicures at home sometimes i go get it done when i just really don't feel like it or i just really want to be pampered or whatever but i have my own little setup my own little jelly stuff to put in the water i got the gel polish the uv light all that all the goods all the things i'm gonna dermaplane shave my face when people say not to do that at home I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. I'm also going to try to laminate my eyebrows. I've got my eyebrows laminated once when I went to Hawaii last year and I loved it. But I just haven't been back to get them done. So I bought me a brow lamination kit off of Amazon a couple months ago. And I'll link all this stuff that I'm telling y'all about. All the things that I can find links to, I will link it. 
down below. Most of it's probably going to be on my Amazon storefront because a lot of this stuff I do get off of Amazon. And I do earn commissions off of those links. So if you don't want me to earn no money or you have a problem with that, you don't have to click it. You can just search the product or whatever. But I would appreciate it if you did. And then I'll install the wig last. And we should be done. Oh, no, 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 no. I got my press on. It's my press on nails. I'm going to do a press on nail set. That is everything we have to do, y'all. So yeah, buckle up because we got a lot to do. So yeah, let's get started on this pedicure. I don't want to do it. 
All right, y'all, as y'all can see, the pedicure is done. I just did a French tip. I never done a French tip on myself before. I normally do all white. Should have did all white because that was time consuming. I could have been done with this like an hour or two ago. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on to waxing next. And then I'm just gonna do my nails tomorrow and then I'm gonna install my wig. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the nails tomorrow. My hair's already braided down for my wig. I'm not gluing it down. I'm just spraying it with the Kiss Colors and Care Lace Bond. So it's not going to take long. Let's get on to this waxing because I'm not looking forward to it and I just want to get it over with. All right, y'all. So this is all the wax stuff I got. I told y'all I got the new wax instead of the roll-on with the cartridges. I got like the actual wax that you got to apply with the stick. So I got this GG Wax Warmer, Sally Beauty Supply. All this stuff is from there. I got these strips that look like this. And then I also got the roll of strips so i'll probably just start with these since i've already opened these and it's already hot i'm gonna turn this temperature down a little bit i feel like that's a bit much we'll see how this goes i'm not excited i'm gonna be applying baby powder beforehand like the pre-wax and then baby oil after to get off any sticky and stuff I actually don't think we have any baby oil, so I'm just gonna use coconut oil to get all this sticky and all this off of me. All right, y'all, so the legs are waxed. As you can see, they're all nice and shiny and smooth. So now I'm gonna attempt the Brazilian part. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. Obviously, I'm not gonna show y'all that or record that. So I'll just come back and let y'all know how it goes. So y'all, I finished my Brazilian. I actually ended up going through with it. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it again. It hurt even more than it does when I let somebody else do it. I mean, I only know what I'm doing to like a degree based off of what like I be seeing them do when I go get it done. And it was also very time consuming. It took me like a very long time. So I won't do it again, but I feel like I handled it pretty well. It hurt, but you know, I think it looks pretty decent. So yeah, let's install this wig and then I'm gonna put my press on nails on and then we'll do the dermal planning and laminating my eyebrows last. So yeah, the wig is from Lavish Bundle Connect. I'll link it in the description. It's a 24 inch deep wave, 13 by four lace front, pre-bleached, pre-plucked. I don't know the density on it. I don't think I showed y'all the construction. It's got three combs in the front, comb in the back and this type of adjustable strap. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick ball cap and then I'm gonna just spray the wig down and that'll be that. Again, I'm using the Kiss Colors and Care Lace bond adhesive spray to do sale.
All right, I need to put makeup on the lace. Ew. I'm gonna be so sore from doing that wax. All the ways I had to twist and bend and all of that. Period. She's already eating. All right, I just cut the ear tabs off. I'm gonna cut this lace off and then spray it down one more time. She should be done. I'm not doing no edges, no none of that. All right, I'm gonna spray some of this on my comb. All right, so let this dry a little bit. I'm gonna tie it down and make any necessary touch-ups. I think I'm gonna do like a side part, just hot comb it, be done. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do these press-ons while this melts. I'm tired, I know that. So these are the press-ons I'm gonna be putting on. I was gonna add my own design to them, like, you know, just a little simple design, but I don't even feel like doing all that. But anyway, I got these off Amazon. Y'all probably seen these before. They were like all over TikTok. I got a different ones too. I got the almond shaped ones. I got the stiletto ones. I got the square shaped ones. I got the plain nude ones. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna be using the Beauty Secrets nail glue. Y'all probably heard about this too on TikTok. All the girls was raving about, all the nail girls, all the press on girls. It lived up to the hype. It's a really good glue. So yeah, I'll link all of that in my storefront. It'll be under like the nail stuff tab on my storefront, as well as any of the other stuff, like um, any of the stuff that I use for the pedicure. I'll list the waxing stuff, well, the wax roller that I was using. I'll link everything, I'll link everything. So I've laid out all my nails and sized them. So now I'm gonna buff the surface of my nails just to remove the shine. That helps your press-ons last longer. And then I'm going to dehydrate and clean the nail with an alcohol pad, and then we will get to gluing. Hopefully y'all can see, I know this is a weird angle. When you're gluing the nail, you want to apply very firm pressure until the glue is dry for like, I'd say like 15, 20 seconds. It's been two minutes and we got four nails on. And then we 
always do the thumbs last so it's easier for you to put on like all the other nails do your thumbs last all right y'all and that's it i'm gonna file off these little like tips pieces on the tips where you like break them off with the little thing i'm gonna just file those off with this nail file you can use any nail file but this is a 182 40 grit nail file i got it off of amazon so i'm just gonna hit it a couple times till it's off my camera cut off y'all but we're all done i just put on some cuticle oil same cuticle oil that i use for my pedicure and we're all done nails done in 10 minutes amazon yeah all right let's take this hair down now it should be good and melted because i actually waited like an hour before i started doing these nails i took a shower well if i can get it off i should took this off before i put these nails on all right y'all my camera cut off again but i just um took some alcohol and wiped across where the band was stuck at it was just like dried glue that it was stuck to on my forehead so i just cleaned that off so now i'm gonna go over the lace with just a little bit of makeup it don't need it too much but i think i just need to put just a little bit for like that ashiness right there just a little bit i don't know if that's helping or making it look more ashy okay i think that's good cute melted sample okay so now i'm just gonna put a part in it and hot comb it with my white stick and i really want to wear it just dried and big like this like i don't really want to wet it nothing does it need it does it need something i don't know we'll see in a second middle or left side part i think we should go to the to the to the deep side part can i do that with this or the lace don't go back far enough. I don't think the lace goes back far enough. Unless I start it here and curve it this way. So that's about as far as I could go. I guess that's fine. Put a little waxy wax. I'll just put a little bit because I don't want the hairline to be all greasy. You know? I'm not like parting, you know, small sections and hot combing. I'm just gonna hot comb the whole thing. Why I used to hot comb it so long? Lord. Woo! Jesus. Let me calm down. All right, y'all. I think that's all I'm gonna do to this because, like, I'm not going nowhere or doing nothing right now. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not actually gonna put a little bit of concealer in the part. I love a wig where I ain't got to do too much. The knots was already bleached. You know, it's already like, I consider this a style. Like you don't really have to style it other than if you want to wet it, of course, and like define the curls more. But like, I still think like the big hair is cute. That's why I like deep wave wigs, curly wigs, cause I don't have to do much. Like I could just get up and go if I want to. I actually really love this wig and it fits me. Y'all know I be having trouble with wigs fitting me. I got a big head and it fits me. And I love the little adjustable strap in the back, like better than the, the ones that they usually have in wigs because like I could just reach back there, like not have to dig all in the bottom of the wig to find the that small adjustable strap that they normally have in wigs. And I just reached back there and like tighten it because I had to do that because the lace was like bulging a little bit before I melted it and it was going to lay flat. So I just reached back there and tighten the little thing. How convenient. I like that. And then I didn't have to bleach the knots. Save me some time. Save me a step. I just did like a little bit of plucking. You don't even have to do that because it's pre-plucked, but y'all know I'd be plucking my wig a little bit more, even when wigs are pre-plucked. But let me put this concealer in the part. I'm going to eliminate my eyebrows and whiten my teeth while I do that. And I might dermaplane. I don't know. I'm just using a, like a small flat concealer brush. I know some people be asking me sometimes what kind of brush I use. That look good. Cute. All right, and we're all done with the hair. So let me figure out this brow elimination kit. See what I need to do for that. My camera keeps cutting off y'all because it's dying. Even though I have it plugged up, I don't know why it does that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in these whitening strips, these teeth whitening strips. Um, This is the brand. I threw away the box, but you know, the brand is still on here. I got them off Amazon. I'll link them. But they, these are supposed to be good for like sensitivity or like 
not make her teeth sensitive, I, I believe. Um, Cause I used to use the Crest 3D white, which I still have them and I'll probably use them every now and then, but I do be noticing my teeth be a little bit more sensitive when I use those. We're gonna give these a try. How do these work? Which one goes on the top and which one goes on the bottom? Can't remember how it worked. I think the long one goes on the top and the short one goes on the bottom. I was right. The long strip goes on the top. That's my only complaint about these so far. Why are they green? I don't like that. Make it like something wrong with me. But they in there. Now I'm gonna do this brow elimination. So uh, let me show y'all the kit. I bought two, but I'm gonna start with this one first and see how this one is. This is the Ariana one. Got it off of Amazon. I'll link it. So I'm gonna start with step one. It says take a before photo. All right, I set a 30 minute timer for the strips. But anyway, step one, take a photograph. Okay, I did that, a before photo. Wash and sanitize your hands. Okay. Three, remove makeup and oil from eyebrows using cleanser, number five. Okay, so they got all these labeled. Number five is the cleanser. I guess I need to get something to dab it on. All right, I'm gonna just put it on a paper towel. All right, so I'm just gonna clean. Step two, I meant four, comb through the eyebrows using a disposable mascara wand. That's this. That's a spoolie. Apply glue number one evenly on your eyebrows and brush it the way you like your eyebrows to be shaped. Glue technique is suitable for people with coarse, very unruly downward eyebrows. Number one. Then after that, we apply the perm cream in bottle number two and brush them up and cover brows with plastic film. Says brush it the way I like my brows to be shaped. Why well, I don't feel like nothing on here. All right, next apply the perm. Do I use this or am I supposed to use something else? She didn't say. Got the perm on it. This joint already burning. I gotta put the plastic wrap on. All right, I gotta let it sit for eight minutes and then I apply fixation, which is the blue stuff. Remove it gently and then apply this. Okay, it's burning. It's not unbearable, but it's definitely tingling. All right, the timer went off for the whitening strips, so I went ahead and took them off. I actually had to go brush my teeth after because the green stuff like comes off of the strip and it's just sitting on your teeth when you pull the strip off. So I had to like brush all that off, but they definitely worked. Mm-hmm, I see what they did. Okay, so now it's time to take this off. The blue stuff has been sitting for another eight minutes. The perm sat for eight minutes and then this has to sit for eight minutes. And the last step is to apply the nutrition, which is the yellow stuff to hydrate them. Cleanser number five. What did I do with cleanser number five? All right, y'all, this is how my eyebrows turned out. I really don't feel like dermaplaning or shaping my eyebrows, so. Okay, hey, y'all, it's been like 
a week, I believe, since I last talked to y'all. I eliminated my eyebrows. Um, I remember saying that I didn't feel like dermal planning and all of that, but I changed my mind. So now I'm gonna do it. <laughs> also, the wig is still intact. Like I said, I only use the Kiss Colors and Care Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. Now I know I said I wasn't going to style this wig and I was just gonna wear it like this, which I have been wearing it like this. I've been wearing it like this for the past week, but I was like, mm, I wanna style it cause I wanna take pictures. I need to get back on my Instagram and TikTok content that I was doing. I was posting like twice a week. So I am going to end up styling this wig, but it's gonna be in the video that I post before this. So I've done this before, I believe, in like a either a maintenance video, the last maintenance video I did, or it was another video where I did a facial on myself. Anyway, I'm just gonna be applying this. You need something on your face so like the razor can glide smoothly and you're not like messing your skin up. This is the kind of blade that I have. This is like a straight up blade. This is not the little face razors that you get from like, you know, y'all know the ones I'm talking about. This is a straight up blade. I'll be really careful with this cause I have cut myself. Like it doesn't take nothing at all to cut yourself with this. Like you could like barely press wrong, like holding it at the wrong angle and bare, I'm talking about barely press and you just slice your face up. But anyway, you need something on your face while you are shaving so i use my deep cleansing oil and then i just like rinse that off when i'm done but you can also use aloe i don't people use that you can use aloe i've used vaseline before so you know i'll start with this side that's probably a lot okay this is gonna be crazy because i have not done my plane in months i'm gonna do the right side of my face first i need some alcohol to like wipe the blade off as i go and then you just want to like pull your skin hot like while you do this I'm gonna come back to the eyebrows when I get ready to shape them with the scissors and stuff. Y'all look at this hair. This is just the right side of my face. What? Ew. Honestly, it doesn't seem too bad because I feel like my face has been worse than this. So maybe I'm saying that because I'm gonna be doing one side. I have not cut myself yet. I'm doing good. Let's do the other side. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna shape up my eyebrows. I just trim them with some scissors and then I like clean up the edges with the razor again. So I'm just gonna wipe off around them since I've shaved a little bit around the top. Woo. So I believe I've explained this before in like other videos, but I just brush my eyebrow hairs up and I just trim like all the ones that are out of place, like has grown out longer than, I don't know how to explain it. I just trim them to where they're all like even, I guess. And then I brush them down and do the same thing. Like all the ones that have grown out past like this point, everything that's grown out past like this line here, I just trim that off.
Okay, now I'm just gonna brush these back up and then I'll, I'll clean up the outsides with the razor. these back up and just put a clump of this on each brow that should be enough Alright, I'm just gonna wipe this off with alcohol to see if I missed anything. Get some of this loose hair off. Ah, okay, and that is that. I'm gonna brush them again. I got some of the loose hair in this spoolie. Okay. And we're all done. So now I'm gonna rinse off all this cleansing oil. I'm just gonna apply some moisturizer and be done. I don't wanna put too much on my face. Just some moisturizer and some sunscreen. My Super Goop Glow Stick SPF 50. I think that's all. My moisturizer, I use the Tatcha, Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I think that's what it's called. It's in the bottle that looks like this color. Well, the jar that looks like this color. This is the luminous dewy skin mist but the jar that the face moisturizer comes in is the same color so i'll be back when i rinse this off and i'll apply my moisturizer my sunscreen and that's it i'm back so yeah this is my face moisturizer tatcha dewy skin cream yeah i've been using this for almost a year now so obviously i really like it it's my second jar tatcha is on the pricey side but i i like tatcha Okay, and then take my glow stick and put that on. I used to use more products in this, but I honestly feel like some of that stuff is just really unnecessary and like a scam. I also had like a reaction to one of the products that I used to use. Like I used to use like four or five products in my skincare after washing my face. And one of them was like breaking me out, like not pimples, but like rashes. And I don't know which one it is. So I just stopped using all of it. And now I only use moisturizer and sunscreen. Which I was kind of sad about because I was kind of liking my little routine. And I felt like my skin was looking really good. But then like one day I just started getting rashes out of nowhere. Like all around here. I don't know which product was doing it. I just stopped using all of them. And that is that. So done dermaplaning. My brows are done. Face is bald. So oh, let me show y'all the hair. This is all the hair and... Probably dead skin. I don't have. I don't be having a whole lot of dead skin because um, I do exfoliate regularly, face and body. But yeah, I have a little bit of dead skin. That's one thing I like about dermal cleaning. Also, my makeup goes on a lot smoother. It also is like, like I said, a form of exfoliation. If you're like somebody that doesn't exfoliate that regularly, you're gonna be like, you're probably gonna look a whole different color by the time you're done dermal cleaning. Like you be looking a whole shade lighter. Um, I don't think I look that different. So that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and tagging along. Hopefully something I said helped you in some type of way. Do your own maintenance sometimes, save you some coins. I'll be sure to link everything so y'all can purchase anything that I use if you want to. But yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. That's it for this maintenance vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.